Several ancient cultures had strange sexual practices that were often related to religion or spiritual beliefs. These practices varied greatly between cultures and could be considered taboo or even illegal in modern times. It's important to remember that while these practices might seem bizarre or even disgusting to us now, in their respective cultures, they were accepted and even celebrated. Understanding the cultural and historical background of these practices can help us better understand the ideals and beliefs of ancient civilizations. In this video, we will look at the seven bizarre sexual customs reportedly practiced by ancient people. Number 1, Sacred Prostitution. In ancient Mesopotamia, sacred prostitution was a custom in which women had sex with males in exchange for money, with the money going to the temple. The practice was related to the goddess Ishtar, who was considered the patroness of love, fertility, and war. Though the practice was not uncommon at the time, it is now commonly argued among scholars, with some suggesting that the term sacred prostitution may be a misnomer and that the practice may have been similar to a form of marriage or temporary consensual relationships. Whatever the details, this practice illuminates ancient Mesopotamian cultural and religious attitudes about sex and sexuality and emphasizes the variety of human sexual activity throughout history. Number 2, Great Rite. Sex was considered as a sacred act in ancient Egypt that could result in spiritual enlightenment. Because of this, several temples and religious organizations engaged in sexual rituals. These rituals were usually seen as a means of interacting with the gods and gaining access to their power. The most celebrated of these rituals was the Great Ritual, in which the pharaoh engages in sexual activity with a priestess to symbolize the union of god and goddess. Although these practices may seem strange to modern sensibilities, they were a significant part of cultural and religious life in ancient Egypt and reflect the importance of sexuality in human history. Number 3, Foot Binding. This was a practice in ancient China where women's feet were firmly bound to make them appear smaller and more delicate. Foot binding was associated with beauty and social status, as small feet were considered a sign of femininity and aristocracy. While this has been a common practice in China for centuries, it has also been a source of physical pain and disability, because the foot often becomes deformed, leading to lifelong health problems. Foot binding has since been abandoned as a result of changes in societal norms and values, but it remains a significant cultural artifact that sheds light on the complex attitudes toward gender, beauty, and social status in ancient China. Number 4, Orgies. Orgies were a common practice in ancient Rome, especially among the elite classes. These orgies usually took place in private residences and involved numerous partners having sex together. Although the practice may seem strange to modern sensibilities, it was a common part of Roman social life at the time and was frequently linked to excess, luxury, and pleasure. Though, it is important to remember that not all Romans participated in orgies, and that the elite class was probably the only group that did. This practice sheds light on a variety of human sexual behaviors throughout history and highlights the ways in which cultural attitudes toward sex and pleasure can vary over time. Number 5 necrophilia one of the most bizarre and disturbing sexual practices is necrophilia or the sexual attraction to corpses necrophilia has been reports throughout history despite being considered taboo and some cultures have even accepted it as a type of spiritual practice for example in ancient egypt some people believed that having sex with the dead might give the living their energy and vitality because of this belief some people engaged in necrophilia in order to gain their strength and power. Necrophilia is widely seen as a type of sexual perversion and is prohibited in most countries. Also, it is considered to be a violation of the dignity and respect owed to the deceased, making it unacceptable as a legitimate form of sexual expression in modern times. Number 6, Erotic Flagellation. Erotic Flagellation, a sexual practice that has to do with spanking or whipping for sexual pleasure and it has been documented in numerous cultures all through history. 
couples often engaged in erotic flagellation as a form of sexual expression in ancient Rome. To increase their arousal and pleasure during sexual encounters, couples use leather straps to whip each other. This practice has often been associated with BDSM, bondage, discipline, sadism, and masochism, culture and remains a popular fetish today. Though, it's important to remember that BDSM is a consensual activity between adults and should always be practiced in a safe and responsible manner. Despite the fact that some people might find the concept of erotic flagellation bizarre or taboo, it is important to respect the sexual choices of consenting adults, as long as they do not cause harm to themselves or other others. Number 7, Aztec Sacrificial Sex The Aztecs, an ancient society that flourished in Mexico throughout the 14th and 16th centuries, were famous for their elaborate religious practices, which included sexual rituals and human sacrifice. Sexual rituals were performed as offerings to the gods, and the sacrifice of a person during the sexual intercourse was believed to ensure the fertility of the land. Priests and priestesses were held in great regard in the Aztec culture and were in charge of overseeing religious rituals and ceremonies, including sexual ones. Alcohol and hallucinogenic substances were used during these ceremonies, and occasionally bloodletting tools were used to create a trance-like state. Participants would perform sexual acts in front of the gods during these rituals as a way of offering their bodies and souls. The person chosen to be sacrificed is killed during sexual intercourse and her blood is used as an offering to the gods.